एवरीवन आई एम बैक विद अनदर टाइम लैब्स वीडियो सो टुडे आई एम गोना टू ट्राई दिस न्यू आर्ट स्टाइल आल्सो आई होप द ऑडियो इज गुड बिकॉज़ आई रियली सक एट ऑडियो एडिटिंग अम या सो बिफोर टॉकिंग अबाउट एनीथिंग एल्स लेट मी जस्ट अनाउंस द आर्टिस्ट ऑफ द वीक एंड द आर्टिस्ट ऑफ दिस वीक इज आर्टमैन this channel is pretty dope actually i would recommend all of you to check this channel out the link is given in the description box down below so this is the episode 2 of trying out new art forms where i am trying out another indian art style so let me first tell you about jamini roy so jamini roy was a famous indian artist was famous for his style based on folk art tradition all the problems and complications of color and lines were as simple as water to him coming from a distant village he became famous as a popular and a uh, prolific painter at a very tender age he admitted in government art college and at the age of 20 or 21 years he graduated from there he began to paint keeping the ideals of havel and ravindranath tagore in view During this time he used to paint in a style of Bengal school. His compassion and patience made him a great painter. The influence of pot art of Kalighat which was like another Bengali Indian Bengali uh, art style was the main characteristics of his paintings. You know what during this time most of the painters were very much influenced by western art and western culture uh, but he was totally different he he got influenced by kalighat painting which is another indian folk art and i think that this is absolutely amazing because i myself take inspiration from western culture all the time but if you ask my opinion regarding following foreign culture then i personally feel like art has no boundaries right so there is nothing wrong if i take inspiration from western culture or any other culture around the world but that doesn't mean that i hate my own culture and i'm not proud of it that is so not true now you may be wondering why he rejected western style of art so the thing is he was born in 1887 during the british period which means when india was under the control of british government so in his quest for an indian identity he rebelled and his rebellion coincided with a wave of nationalism in bengal against the british that's why he rejected the western influence in his art he studied on different styles but preserved his own style till his death and this great artist died in 1972 that's it for today guys if you have enjoyed this video please do leave a like down below subscribe if you are new or have not done so already and i'll see you next time if you have read the title by now clearly you have understand what i'm going to be talking about uh, first of all no i am not a motivational speaker but i would like to share my opinion with you and spread some positivity